This is the Ariac 4500 baht tri-fuel portable inverter generator, a generator that caught my attention for its versatility and promise of clean, reliable power. Looking at it, the design is surprisingly compact and lightweight for what it offers, with a sleek red and black finish that makes it look modern and ready for action. Its portability stood out right away. It's 54 pounds, but the wheels and built-in handle make it feel much easier to transport. Whether you're rolling it out for a camping trip or moving it to your backyard during a power outage, it feels practical and easy to handle. From my experience, I always like to test a product before relying on it, especially for something as critical as power backup. So I kicked things off by running this generator on gasoline, starting with a light load. Assembly and setup were straightforward, which was a relief. The included manual guided me through connecting the fuel lines and getting the generator ready to go. I admit, I had some initial hesitation with the tri-fuel setup because I wasn't sure how smoothly it would transition between fuels, but I found the quick switch feature pretty seamless. With just three seconds to switch from gas to propane when fuel ran low, it eliminated the hassle of having to stop and restart the whole unit. That was a big win in my book. When I powered it up, I noticed how quiet it was compared to other generators I've used. At about 58 decibels from 23 feet away under a quarter load, it was more of a low hum than the loud roar I usually expect. It was quiet enough that I felt comfortable running it during a camping trip without worrying about disturbing wildlife or other campers. Even at higher loads, the noise level wasn't overwhelming. If you're like me and value peace and quiet during outdoor getaways, this is a great option. Performance-wise, it handled everything I threw at it. I started off with basic appliances, a refrigerator, microwave, and some small electronics. To my surprise, it handled brief surges from the microwave without flickering or stalling. When I decided to push it further, running multiple loads up to its 3500 watt continuous capacity, the engine didn't struggle. Even on propane, which I found to be slightly less powerful than gasoline, it ran efficiently, staying just below its rated output of 3150 watts. For anyone wondering, yes, natural gas does cut the power capacity a little more compared to the other fuels, but it's still a solid option if you need a more economical, long-term solution during extended outages. One of the features I appreciated was the inverter technology, which means it produces stable, clean power. The technical term here is low T at D, or total harmonic distortion. In plain terms, it ensures that your sensitive electronics like phones, laptops, and TVs won't get damaged by power surges or distortions. I tested it with some of my gear, including a laptop and a streaming camera, and everything worked flawlessly. The added USB-A and USB-C ports were a nice touch as well, allowing me to charge smaller devices without extra adapters. Now, let's talk about maintenance. I'll admit I was a bit skeptical when I first checked the oil after the engine had run for two hours. I expected it to look dirty, as breaking in a new engine usually leaves oil murky. But the oil looked surprisingly clean, which was encouraging. I followed up with an oil change after every two hours of runtime during the break-in period, and the process was simple. If you're new to using generators, don't be intimidated. You just have to stay on top of regular checks like oil levels and fuel connections, and the machine seems to handle the rest. The auto shutoff for low oil is also a handy safety feature, ensuring you don't accidentally run the generator dry. One minor challenge I encountered was setting up the propane and natural gas connections. You do need a proper regulator for each fuel type, and while the included gas pipeline and regulator worked fine for propane, I had to invest in additional equipment to set up natural gas from a bottled source. If you're in an area where natural gas is readily available, it's worth planning ahead to make sure you have the right adapters and fittings. It's not a huge issue, but something to keep in mind. That brings me to fuel efficiency which is another standout feature. On gasoline, the full tank lasted me about 16 hours at 25% load, which is overnight reliability if you're running lights and basic appliances during a storm. Propane offers about 73% of the runtime compared to gas, and natural gas comes in a little lower. The built-in ESC mode or electronic speed control optimizes fuel usage, which I found helpful for stretching every last drop of gas. If you plan to rely on it for extended power outages, Switching between fuels to conserve costs and resources is definitely manageable. From my experience, the Arayak 4500.U Tri-Fuel Portable Inverter Generator is perfect for anyone who values versatility and reliability. It's compact enough for travel, powerful enough for home backup, and quiet enough for camping. I'd recommend this for families preparing for natural disasters, 
RV enthusiasts, or anyone who needs a flexible energy solution without relying fully on one type of fuel. While the price point is higher than some traditional generators, the added features like clean power production and fuel flexibility make it a worthwhile investment. It truly feels like a product built with multiple user scenarios in mind. In conclusion, while I was initially unsure about a generator of this size delivering the advertised performance, this one exceeded my expectations. It's not just about raw power, it's about reliability, ease of use, and peace of mind during critical moments. The Arayak 4500W is the kind of generator you can count on. Whether you're camping off the grid or powering essential appliances at home during a storm, I will update specific information about the Arayak 4500W Tri-Fuel Portable Inverter Generator for home use in the comments. Don't forget to catch my next video.